Hi guys, and good to see you in February 2023. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winry Value Comments. This episode is going to be my February real estate market update for sale neighborhoods and all east side locations. Mortgage interest rates continue to drive real estate market. And we'll put for you guys a chart on the screen, a very good chart from Freddie Mac, what's happening with the rates right now. And we have today 6.12% for three years fixed mortgages. I'd like to start this episode with important data, months of supply and inventory for King County and Snohomish County. Last month in December, we have much more balanced market. Balanced market was pretty much everywhere, but starting with 2023 market shift, we have less in inventory pretty much everywhere right now and inventory is shrinking and we move into seller's market territory again. We have seller's market pretty much right now everywhere except West Bellevue, Mercer Island and North Seattle. And this slide will help you to understand market absorption. I will compare the initial data January 2023 comparable to January 2022. And as examples, you guys can see with me on the screen, in North Seattle we have 75 active listings in the market. In North Seattle, we have more than two months of inventory. We have 64 pending sales in January 2023 and 35 sold properties. That tells me, guys, we in a balanced market in this location. Same as we in a balanced market in West Bellevue and Mercer Island. I'm not gonna go through the old cities. That's a lot of data on this slide. But you guys can stop this video and look for your city and you will understand market absorption, what's happening with your location. And moving back to all Seattle neighborhoods combined together, we have 1.3 months of inventory. Medium sell price $803,750 and increase 40% year over year. A big increase in inventory if you compare it to the year ago, but year ago we have very unusual market when we have like almost no inventory in Seattle. But if you compare to last 10 years, guys, you guys can see we have average numbers of inventory like we had few times before. And this is very normal and usual for spring market because people planning to sell properties and majority homes selling in spring time. 13% homes selling above asking price and 17% selling at asking price. Those homes price right and prepare for the market. They sell in the first 15 days on the market. And if you guys are a seller, this is very important data for you guys because if your listing stay in the market more than two weeks and doesn't sell within 30 days, it means something wrong with your price, with your property, or maybe with your listing broker. Something's not right. Because if you have a good agent who knows what he's doing, you should be able to list property for right price and sell your property within first 15 days on the market. And this slide for my favorite Raven fans, you can compare medium close sell price, interest rate and mortgage payment for the property. And this data from 2020 to 2023. You guys can see changes with mortgage interest rate payments, uh, prices, you guys can see those peaks for Seattle area. And the top price in Seattle we have in May 2022, but top Mortgage payment was in October 2022, this time when rates increased for over 7% and people have to pay a lot of money for the property. But right now the market shifting, mortgage rates dropping and with that mortgage payments dropping as well. And this motivates a lot of buyers to move to real estate market and specifically in springtime when we have more inventory, more choices to choose and find your dream home. And in Bellevue and Louise side, we have 1.4 months in inventory. We drop in inventory comparable to months ago when we have over 2.7 months in inventory, guys. We was in a balanced market months ago, but inventory is shrinking and we have 1.4 months of inventory and currently medium sell price in all this side, $1,320,000. But months ago was $1,299,000. So what's happening right now, more buyers moving to the market, prices increase, inventory is shrinking. Only 8% homes seen sells east side, selling above asking price. You guys compare like to a year ago what's happening, we have 71% homes selling above asking price, and it's a huge drop, it's a dramatic drop from a year ago, but still few homes selling above asking price. And we have about 7% homes selling at asking price, and majority of homes have to do price reduction, like 60% of people have to reduce price, 
and 25% home selling less than listed price. This is huge changes what we have to comparable to year ago. I think this is like safe bet and safe numbers to sell the property within 30 days. But again, if you're moving over 30 days territory and if you work with the agents who's doesn't list property for the right price from beginning or maybe property wasn't prepared for the market or maybe no marketing for this property and nobody sees this home that's become a dangerous dangerous zone to be more than 30 days on the market why because if you go into reduce price to sell the property and medium close sell price to list price was reduced for five percent sales east side it's about sixty six thousand dollars this is why you might lose $66,000 if you did not price your home correctly. Lastly, medium close sell price, payments, and mortgage interest rate starting from 2020 to 2023. You guys can see those hikes and peaks. And when we have the top price in sales east side was April 2022. A medium sell price was $1,722,000. That's a lot of money. But currently we have $1,320,000. If you put 20% for down payment, your payment will be decreased for over $1,000. Uh, if you buy a house on today's market comparable to people who bought properties in April 2022. What will be my advice for the buyers? Buying home is not for everybody. If you're buying a home, you have to have reasons to buy the property. If you live in a Seattle area for about one year and plan to go to different states or different country to live, you probably should not buy the house. But if you look to stay in Seattle area for more than six years and you planning to raise your kids here, send them to the school, buying property it's a great investment that's why a lot of millennials buying homes right now and they currently the biggest buyers force on the market in our locations if you guys have any questions reach out to me i will leave you my information in descriptions and i will be allowed to answer any questions you have reference local real estate market and if you're seller you're looking to sell the property my advice for you guys will be prepare to sell as soon as possible prepare very well hire a seasoned broker like myself there was more inventory coming in the market end of the spring in august uh, historically in august we have a lot of homes for sale on the market and usually lower prices than in spring if you're planning to get top doors for your house you should list your property in the beginning of the spring as it will help you to save hundreds of thousand dollars in this local market and again, if you need help to sell your property and do evaluation, how much your property is really worth, reach out to me. I would be love to be your real estate resource. I'm a seasoned broker. I'm working in this market for 22 years and I know what I'm doing. With that, guys, have a fantastic week. Until next time.